full year ago, we were in Hartford in a club. I did that YTH Fest, it turned out really good. And then we ended up moving out to Holyoke, Mass. That was the, the next show that I did. In my eyes, cause it's like, you kind of come into something that's already been built. And I was somebody who was on the outside. I was making music, I was doing what I was needing to do, but I didn't get involved in this community until a year ago. What's kind of your mindset behind that now? We're trying to take that step towards like creating more like, you know, in internet friendly content. They're seeing these like grandiose moments in your life when realistically it's just little moments, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to entertaining and when it comes to becoming the, the artist that you want to be in this new age, you have to. You have to give people a little bit of something all the time. You have to give them their dopamine fix. What's good? What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Big 4 and 3 in the building, a.k.a. Mars School and Mars School Media. The hottest thing to come out of Western Mass since basketball. If you ain't heard about me yet, you're going to hear about me. But to my right, I got a man, the one, the only, honestly. Evan I'm probably James. one of his. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Mike drop Mike still. Uh -huh. I was gonna say. I was gonna hype him up some more. I'm one of his biggest fans. I can honestly say that, man. Like I love with your music. You be going crazy. My girlfriend behind the camera. Ever since last YTH Fest, been a huge fan of your music as well, bro. I appreciate y'all for real. For yeah, real, like yeah. it's crazy. I appreciate it because I feel like that's the biggest thing about this, right? It's like showing true form, true self. And from the beginning, I just try to train myself to do that. Like, mm -hmm. and I don't. I mean, train in a way that's like. Just get comfortable with it, because a lot of people with camera get on, or you get on stage, and there's things that just pressure, you know what I mean? But if you just stay true, you just learn how to continue to stay true, people gonna fuck with you. Heck yeah, man, you gotta be yourself, because no one can be you better than mm -hmm. you can be you on some real shit. But honestly, man, I know I met you last year. How many? How long now have you been a part of the YTH um, festivities and coming out to these events? I wanna say it's been, it's been a year now, because the, um, the next show is coming up. When's the next show coming up? I'm um, like May, June, June, June. So like basically like a year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, a uh, full year ago, we were in Hartford, in a club. Um, I did that YTH fest. It turned out really good. And then we ended up moving out to Holyoke, Mass. That was the the next show that I did. And it's a really. Um, I was just talking to Black Friday. It's a sense of community, especially when you start getting locked in with a lot of people. You start seeing faces again. You know what I'm saying? Everybody continues to support each other throughout. Not just at the festivals. Not just at these like link up these meetings but through social media and just giving support i think that's the most important thing that's awesome so would you say that's your biggest takeaway from like your performance at white Chase last year and being a part of the community is that like it's just a lot of people get rally around you now it's like kind of a stronger fan base you would say i don't want to say i don't want to talk selfishly i just want to talk about the fact where in terms of what's been building in my eyes because it's like you kind of come into something that's already been built and I was somebody who was on the outside. I was making music. I was doing what I was needed to do, but I didn't get involved in this community until a year ago. Mm -hmm. So coming into it, it was definitely open arms. Like, and I feel like that comes with if you're putting the music first, if you're putting your craft first, like everybody's going to recognize that. Yeah. But if I will talk selfishly, I'm going to talk about the fact that last year was the beginning of me performing, like we were kind of talking about before. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning of me performing now. I'm starting to polish things. I'm starting to become more of an entertainer than anything else and not just get on stage and just do the songs and get off, like really try to lock in with the audience, lock in with the people, so. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, man, I fuck with that heavy. So honestly, um, I know we were kind of talking about it out there, but you're really starting to focus more on like creating kind of micro content for the Instagrams and like, I'm my old man, the Instagrams, <laughs> <laughs> like 75. The Webernet and shit like that. <laughs> the interwebs. <laughs> but yeah, so like, but what's kind of your mindset behind that now? We're trying to take that step towards like, creating more like you know in internet friendly content i mean full transparency beforehand i didn't really like it i felt like there's so much things on social media that make other people feel like they're seeing these like grandiose moments in your life when realistically it's just little moments you know what i'm saying but when it comes to entertaining and when it comes to becoming the the artist that you want to be in this new age you have to you have to give people a little bit of something all the time you have to give them their dopamine fix uh it's just like there's a lot of things about this music game that's very similar to these other industries. So you just got to feed the people consistently. And if, if they like what you have, then they're going to come back and you have to give them something either better or of the same quality. So That's fire, man. That's fire. You, nothing but facts come out this guy's mouth right here. <laughs> and lastly, man, what are you most looking forward to with the YTH Fest this year? I'm 
most excited to see a new artist because I feel like as this continues to grow, and I bet Don could just be a, um, a testament to this, like he just continuously sees new artists come out, new talent, people who are really hungry. And I feel like the people who've been in it for a little bit longer, they see that new talent and it's just like, it's inspirational. If it's all love, then it's all love. Like there should be no envy, no jealousy. It should just be inspirational. So I think that's the biggest thing for me because even coming and being a new artist, like however you want to say it, I get inspired by everybody, older people, younger people, people who've been doing it for a year, people who've been doing it for eight years, people who just started. So I think that if you're a student of the game, when these things happen, like YTH Fest, you're just going to be inspired. You're just going to be celebratory. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, man. And if you don't mind sharing notes with the class, you said you'd be studying as, as a quote unquote newer artist. Mm. What would you say you've learned over like your past year, year and a half? In performing, like in stage presence and being on the stage, comfortability is key, and that comes with practice and rehearsing. So never be afraid to rehearse too much. I feel like some people think that they know their music so well that they don't need to rehearse, but I think that's if you get it so a second nature when you hop up on stage when there's something that's when the mic don't work at the first moment or somebody fucking around in the audience or somebody's yelling or something like you're not gonna get thrown off because it's so ingrained in your body. I think it just practice makes perfect. Like. And some people want to do some AI shit and say, uh, what's practice? But I feel like it's important, you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. fire, man. Straight bars. I appreciate you sitting down with me, man. And I'm I glad we got you, to bro. link up. It's all love, brother, man. Yes, sir. Keep doing your thing. Yo, shout out your platforms, brother. Evan James Official. E-V-A-N James J-A-M-E-S Official. If you need to spell that word, use the Merriam, the Webster, the dictionary. But that's on all platforms. Instagram, YouTube. That's it. You got him. Well, we out of here. Bow. Fire, brother.